Hey guys, hope you're well and welcome to this commission showcase video. Today we've got two of the most infamous orcs in the 40k galaxy. We have the toughest orc of them all, Macquarie, and we've also got his left hand man, Gazgirl Thraka, which I'm sure you're familiar with him and his exploits. Um, first of all, these are two phenomenal models, obviously the brand new Gazgirl Thraka and also Macquarie, painted by George, one of the artists here at Siege. He's done a great job of painting these awesome models to a super, super high standard. Um, we're going to start with Gazgol and finish up with the toughest stalk Macquarie last. So let's start with Gaz. Um, really, really awesome model in that dynamic pose where he's just attacking forward, firing obviously his weapon off, um, bringing around the claw to strike, which is just great. There's so many little details on this model right from the get-go, uh, including the handle at the back to wind up Gaz's suit of armour, which is just uh, it's hilarious. Um, all the pipes have got the lovely sort of uh, chevroned uh, pattern on them with catch lights and also the refraction of light on the volume of the of the, um, of the pipe as well, which is just nice. Um, there's a fair amount of freehand on this, like on the claw, for example, which you've got a lovely checkerboard that's all been freehand on there. And that subtle tonal variance where it changes into the shadows, which I think is great. Uh, you've also got, obviously, the checker pattern just on the jaw as well, which is something else that's been freehanded on. Um, I do really like the use of the yellow and red colours to contrast the black as well. I think that's just a really good use of colour uh, from the original scheme that obviously the Ebony Metal team painted. Um, and we've got obviously every part of this model really refinely painted with sharp highlighting and multiple stages of highlighting throughout the model. I really do like the, the detail of the exhaust stacks on Gaz as well. I think it's quite cool that he's almost got like these, the, the, the sort of like truck or motorbike like flaps that just open as he like as he uses the suit and it, it sort of gets rid of like smoke and stuff, which I think is quite cool. Um, as we rotate it around, something that I really do like is the uh, the subtle tonal variance on the metallics on the claw as well. Having that sort of bright to dark on the claw just it kind of makes the claw look a bit more lethal as well, which I think is quite nice. Um, you get even the little lights that are inside the jaw as well have been painted and it's just really, really nicely done and cleanly executed. Uh, the sort of ratio of copper and, st and steel to black, I think just works quite nicely on the model as well, just to really define all those little details. And the final thing I'll say on him is literally these two tusks as well, which are just really nicely done with a transition of color from the dark ends all the way through to the sort of newer bone of the tusk. Uh, or material of the tusk right at the bottom as well. So that's just uh, Gazgol Thraka, the uh, the second toughest or hardest orc in the uh, 40k galaxy. And then we have Macquarie, his, uh, his good friend, uh, carrying Gazgol's banner. Um, cheeky little chap. Uh, I think he's uh, just a really cool detail uh, that sort of like comes with Gazgol. Uh, I really like it nodding back to the original sort of artwork of Gaz with where you've got Macquarie carrying the banner. I uh, do like the uh, Tempesta Scion sort of uh, uh, tactical helmet that you can see there just on the base, uh, which is really nicely done. Um, but the skin tone really saturated, nice and vibrant with lots of highlighting done throughout. There's been sort of uh, no no sort of expense has been spared on any of the details throughout the miniature. Uh, do really like the uh, little totems that are just hanging from the bottom with each, with each of their little symbols on there as well. And we've got these really nice subtle toning variants on the tassels that are just like on the top of the banner as well. Um, the basing across the force, which is something I actually skipped over, um, has been a really nice kind of like deserty kind of scheme as well. And I'll just pick Gaz up as well just to show that. Um, our client did actually request extra skulls and things on these bases, which have been applied. You've got a blood letter there. You've got some extra sort of human skulls on there, as you'd expect. You'd probably like on Armageddon or something. Um, and then obviously all the metal work and stuff that's on the base of Gaz has also been fully fully painted as well, with all, lots of weathering and sort of details on there as well. Uh, so that's uh, the basing for the force. Now, I do hope you like both these characters. Uh, really, really iconic characters from the 40k galaxy, as I'm sure you'll agree. Um, if you would like your character painted by us here at Siege, then we do specialise in characters. It's something that all the team here at Siege enjoy painting and we, uh, we paint them obviously to very high standards. So if you are interested in a commission with us for your character to join your army, then do not hesitate in getting in contact with us through the description in this video. There's a link to the Siege Studios website and our contact form where you can complete that with all the information that we require to, to obviously quote you for a project. If you're watching us here on YouTube, then please do not hesitate in subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell icon so that you're notified when new videos do go up. And that way you can keep up to date with all of the showcases and things that go on over here on our YouTube channel. Finally, all the, all the uh, links to our social media can be found in the description of the video. If you go give us a follow or like on those respectively, you can see all the other things that we post about. A big thank you from all the team here at Siege and myself for watching this showcase today. I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you very soon in the next one. Take care.